Hello, Warrior Nation. Christopher English here with you. Joined with me is Tyrus Rattler, Jr. and head coach Lance Monfoe after a thrilling double overtime victory against the Mustangs. Tyrus, you had 21.7 rebounds, but none bigger than your three-point play the old-fashioned way with the free throw. What's going through your mind right there with icing those fans? Um, I just got to make the free throw. I've been working hard on making my free throws, and um, I've been struggling from the line all year. But I know this was a big game, and I needed – we need the victory, so they look for me to make that. Uh, they trusted me and looked for me to make that big victory. And your guys' team, just from start to finish from this year, you guys have really been through a lot. So just collectively in that locker room, what does this win mean to this team? Uh, it's a huge win, you know. Um, we, we won on our home court and from a tough loss from uh, Thursday night. And uh, yeah, just it, it's just a big win going on to Menlo next weekend, next week. And uh, just trying to, trying to keep getting these wins. Now, Coach B, I'll talk to you here for a second. At the end of the first half, your team was up by 13. You're playing a great team. They, they're able to come back, take the lead a couple of times during the second half, but your team battled. Can you just talk about the heart that your team showed? If, if there's one thing that nobody can ever say about this team is that they don't have the biggest heart all around. I love this team. This team is special. They, 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 they see everything through adversity. Guys like, like, like uh, you know, uh, Tyrus here with that thing just pumping. You know, we got an All-American. Probably the best player in the country, if not, you know, he's one of the best players in the country, you know, without a doubt. And he gets fouled out with five minutes to go in regulation. We had to play the last 15 minutes against a team that's been ranked number one half the year. They're number seven in the country right now. And we were able to defend the home court. We had three people fouled out, and it just didn't matter who we rolled in. Everybody was a gamer. Everybody was ready to play. And I just love coaching these guys. They're fantastic. It's a huge win against a great Masters team. They're great. They're not good. They're a great team, and this was a huge win for us. You've been around basketball virtually your entire life. These guys are much younger than you, so situations like this are entirely new to them. So after that wild first overtime with two and a half seconds left, where you guys ended up turning it over, and then they had another chance at it to win, what do you say to your team in that situation? Hey, this is, when, this is when champions are made, right? I mean, you know, it's all the platitudes, but it's the stuff that we've been working on since day one, which is next play. We're always talking next play. We're always letting, don't let the last play affect the next play. And this was a next play team tonight, and you saw that no matter how many mistakes we made, they had a will that to just overcome that mistake. And that's what we did. And it was a collective effort. Tyrus led the way, but then I, I mean, we had 11 guys out there that were killing themselves, you know, that made it onto the floor tonight. They just did a fantastic job. So I'm proud of the whole team. The bench was amazing tonight. All around it was a phenomenal game. Jessup ends up the victor in double overtime. For more Jessup Athletics coverage, head to jessupathletics.com.